flags I find interesting. The American flag, but it's a DVD player. Right, so it's a parody of the old DVD player screensaver thing. But is it going to hit the corner? That's the real question. It's not going to hit the corner just yet. Wait for- Oh, that's- Oh, no, not quite, not quite, not quite. This is the one it could be lining up. It's not going to hit it. It's not hitting it. We are running out of time. The video is about to end. Are you kidding me? No. Why would you not make it so it hit the corner? <gasps> my mum allowed me to put any flag on my wardrobe except for the pride flag. It's a bit sad. So here we are 247 flags later. Oh, you made the pride flag. Get wrecked, homophobic mother. <laughs> <laughs> flags I saw in my neighborhood. None because I'm not from America and who the fuck puts flags outside their house? It is so funny. Like when you're playing GeoGuessr and you're like, oh, okay, I'm obviously in America. Every other country, you have to look pretty hard for a flag and you genuinely only see them on like government buildings and stuff. But you Americans, you got them on your mailboxes above the front door. <laughs> Seven different stickers on the boot of your car. It's incredible. US flag, but each star is scaled proportionally to their state's population in roughly its geographical position. That's quite nice, that actually, isn't it? Although if it's geographically correct, we should have a little star like over here for Hawaii. Kai, put a little star over there for Hawaii. Thank you. <laughs> Even as a Jewish person, this is the worst flag I have ever seen in my life. Whoa, someone has gone for that. They have gone heavy on the shadows as well. <laughs> <laughs> My job asked us where everyone was from and then surprised us with all of this. That's so cute, so everyone's got representation. Bloody hell, the employees here are from all over the joint. We've got the Bahamas, we've got, what's that, Cameroon? We've got the Philippines, we've got Cambodia, we've got Burkina Faso. Goodness me! Flag of Cyprus, but I zoomed out of Cyprus. Because <laughs> the, the flag of Cyprus looks like this. So, there it is down there, you, you zoomed out. Yeah, it's, it's funny, it's, it, is, it is funny. Flag of the United States, except the stars and the title swapped places. Yeah, yeah, dude. Don't be confused. A true nightmare to memorize. Yeah, I mean, this is ridiculous, isn't it? So a lot of these are like town flags and stuff, but look, we've got Indonesia and Monaco, which are basically the exact same thing from this distance. Poland's the same, but flipped. They're bloody ridiculous. At least do what Singapore did and like shove a little bit of extra in there. Pope Francis is the first Pope to ever visit Iraq. I think the Vatican City's flag and Iraq's flag look incredible together. Weirdly, in a very striking way, those flags do look nice together. And I don't know why. Animation of all countries on earth that are mostly recognized. This is where the one from my Reddit videos come from. But this version's got the answers in the corner, which is even better. This must have took absolutely ages to animate. It's four minutes long, so that's like Europe there. Then we skip over to Asia. It's so satisfying the way it all spins around. Okay, I want to see some of the African flags. All right, they're off. Guinea-Bissau, Burkina Faso, Madagascar, Ghana, Senegal, Mali, Republic of Congo. It's so satisfying the way you've done this. It's unreal. Flags are the British Isles in the style of Canada. So for England, being replaced with the Tudor Rose, Scotland the Thistle, Wales have got a Daffodil, that's nice. Ireland have a Shamrock, Isle of Man, Cushag. I've never heard of a Cushag. And then Cornwall have got Gorse. Why do Cornwall get their own flag? Cornwall's in England. The Japanese and the Bangladeshi flags look so satisfying beside each other. Do you know what? I like these posts where you've got some big fat flags and then some random people shaking hands in the middle. I mean, I assume they're not random people. I'm, I'm guessing they're the, like, head of each country. But yeah, look at the flags and how good they look. <laughs> Flag of South Korea improved and animated. Do you know what? I could watch that all day. Oh, round they go. Editor Kai, can you put my head into one of the things? Thank you. This is this is wonderful. Argentina flag in the style of Japan. Do you know what? I like it. I think that works. Union Jack. Finally representing a bit of Wales. Yes, very nice. I mean, it does look absolutely dreadful. It's like the dragon is like on a crucifix. What I don't get is why don't they just like take this bottom half of green and put it in the bottom half of the flag instead of the blue? Would that not do enough? That'd be something, wouldn't it? National flags with highest percentage of each color. Okay, so the most red flag is the China flag, 97%, that makes sense. Orange, not a particularly popular color in flags. So Bhutan with 39% wins. Then we've got yellow Brunei, green Saudi Arabia, and then blue Micronesia. Purple, 0.3% because the little teeny weeny purple parrot. White, Cyprus, Black, Livia, Brown, 6%. What a shock that brown isn't more popular in flags. There's a bit of pink in Spain. Is that the most pink flag? 0.1%. Oh, there is pink in the Spanish flag. I have never noticed that before. Macron changed the French flag. Yeah, this happened two months ago now, but the French flag is officially no longer this blue. It's now this blue. I don't know. I feel like the top 
top one looks nicer, but I know that this one like represents a bit more of France's history. The infamous flagpole walk. North Korea's flag's taller than South Korea's flag. Congratulations, North Korea. Your flag's taller. You win. Watermelon flag in the style of USA spotted in southern Ukraine. I love that. That truly is the best thing I've ever seen. The watermelon flag. There's a load of watermelons. What more do you want? Today is Argentina's flag day. So here is our flag, but in the sky. Oh god, the real life picture looks like the flag. That is perfect. Oh my god. Screenshot Poland. <laughs> right. <laughs> Alright, here we go. We're gonna do it first time. You ready? Oh, it's opened a new window. Right. And no, it's pausing by itself. The loop is ending. How am I meant to screw? How am I meant to do it? You ruined the game. Okay, I could get it now. There, that counts. Kai, zoom in and turn it around so that it counts. Make sure you don't get Monaco by mistake, Kai. <laughs> oh, the Chinese and EU flag creates a strange string of stars when put together correctly. Oh, that is unbelievable. Look at that. You're like, that is incredible. Flag of Tulsa, Oklahoma is just beautiful. That's a nice flag. Fair play, Tulsa. This was the flag of New Mexico between 1912 and 1925. No way, they just had New Mexico written it a slight diagonal. It's like it was made in Microsoft Word. They may as well have done it in Comic Sans. How was this 1912? World's biggest flag unfurled in Rome. Romania. Unveiled. I'd have said unveiled. Maybe unfurled is an official flag related term. I should really learn this as a budding vexologist. Unfurled. Make or become spread out from a rolled or folded state. Oh, you could have just said unfolded. Why'd you have to get unnecessarily fancy with it? Oh, it's another one of my favourite posts. Since we're doing this, Israel and Greece's flag look so nice together. Oh, they do. They're so shiny. Imagine if Israel brought their non-shiny flag though. Someone's thought about that in advance. Came up with a way to fold the flag of Palau so that the disc is still visible. Well, thank goodness for that. Jesus Christ. The American flag is twice as red as it is blue. That's all very interesting, but what's more interesting is you've accidentally made a very accurate Czech Republic flag. Look at that. Okay, some people on this sub wanted me to show the flag of Venice flying, so here you go. I like it. Look at its little wiggly bits on the end. That's satisfying, that. If the big three German-speaking countries united. Right, so we've got Germany, Austria, and Switzerland, is that right? I've started trying to learn to speak German recently, you know. Hello? Hello? Ich bin... Hello, ich bin Jack. I Hello, ich bin Jack. Ich... Hello, ich bin Jack. Ich bin Zerklug. <laughs> South Africa in the style of Norway. Do you know what? I like it. I don't know why I like it, but I do. The Puerto Rican and Cuban flags are very similar. Yeah, they bloody are, aren't they? I've been caught out one or two times in GeoGuessr, I'm not gonna lie. Flag of an Arabian colony on Mars. Oh, I like what you've done there. That looks good. Oh, here we go. Flag of Morocco and Israel aligned perfectly well together. Oh, they bloody do. I like to think that these government officials are just having meetings with other countries just because they know their flags look nice together. We're Whoa, we got a Saudi Arabian building shaped like a flag. I have never seen that before. It does look great, I'll be honest. <laughs> Yesterday was Indonesia Independence Day, so I made this hand embroidery flag to celebrate it at home. Oh, it's actually getting like brought up the mast, but embroidered. That's nice, I like it. That's so cool. <laughs> when the Welsh flag is beyond your artistic capabilities and it's a pub in Brighton, they've just written the word dragon rather than trying to draw it. <laughs> oh God, to those saying the Chinese and EU flags look great together, I raise you US and South Korea, they do. There's not any like matching qualities, like big circles or something, but it's the colours this time that complement each other nicely. I visited a flag store today. Oh, future Jack Sucks a Geography video. I spent $1,000 on flags. It could be a winner, you know. A flag of Palestine tracksuit from the 80s. That is so good. I love it. It works so well as an outfit. That is amazing. And you know what? On that note, I'm going to end off this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Click that like button if you did and subscribe. We're closing in on half a million subscribers on Jack Trophy, which is incredible. Thanks, I'll see you later.